That is one big pile of shit. Norm of the North is an animated film about a polar bear named Norm, voiced by veteran actor Rob Schneider, who enjoys twerking while listening to his iPod in the Arctic, and he decides to travel to New York City to stop an evil land developer from putting houses in the Arctic. According to BoxOfficeMojo.com, this movie was released in 2,411 theaters today across the United States of America. And I saw it. Look, you probably clicked on this review knowing I hate it. You expected me to tell you how terrible it is. How about I just let the children in my theater speak for themselves? During the last 30 minutes of this movie, the young girl sitting behind me, who I would estimate was probably about four years old, was so antsy and so bored that she just got up in her seat and started walking around the metal bar and like holding it and doing little moves and stuff because she was just so bored out of her mind. A kid ahead of me towards the end of the movie. It fades out for a second and I hear this kid go, is it over? And then it fades back into more movie and I hear him go, oh man. So if the kids in my theater hated the experience of watching this movie, just please visually imagine, just please really imagine that I'm a person, I'm a 27 year old man and I went to this movie and I sat there and I watched it, it took every single ounce of willpower within me to not leave. My God! This is, and I've thought about this, I've thought hard about this over the past few hours. I think this is the worst animated movie I have ever seen in a theater. There is so much that is wrong about this movie. For one, it looks as if it belongs on Nickelodeon in 1998. And sure enough, I looked on the IMDb trivia page and it says this was originally going to be a straight to DVD movie. But they decided at the last minute, I guess, to just put it in theaters. Cause why the hell not? Couldn't you have just not? Norm of the North is like an animated film that you scroll past on Netflix and go, oh, no. The director of this movie is obsessed with cross dissolves. Every single scene ends with a cross dissolve. Like every single one of them. Cross dissolves over and over again. The animation is so incredibly subpar. It's not even really straight to DVD. It's like more straight to TV. Can I please remind you that the star of this movie is Rob Schneider? The resolution even was terrible, and I saw this movie in a very new theater, just barely a year old this theater is by my house. Distance shots where people were farther away, you couldn't even see much definition animated into their faces. It is atrocious. It's inexcusably lazy. There's an excuse that gets easily thrown around. Oh, it's just a kid's movie, you know? You're being too harsh on it. This movie's made for children. As I already said, the kids in my theater wanted to leave. Anime films from Japan, like Studio Ghibli's productions, or Pixar's productions, or DreamWorks, these people have shown us that kids can enjoy films that are really good and smart and mature and have depth and have layers. This film is only suitable for children who perhaps can't even speak the English language yet. The only thing this movie could possibly do is maybe entertain an infant. That's it. It's a terribly unfunny movie with awful characters and equally awful animation. The story barely even makes any sense. Things happen that don't make sense. Like early on in the movie, we see a little girl just run up to a polar bear and the parents aren't even concerned about it. They don't even, they don't even show the parents being concerned. They don't even animate the parents going, oh gosh, no, the, the kids just, the little girl just runs up to a polar bear. They don't even take the time to animate concerned parents. Oh God. Look, if you want to see an animated film that's 86 minutes long, I believe, filled with scenes of a twerking bear with subpar animation voiced by Rob Schneider in which they try to string a story and a message about development and you have to save the environment and everything in there in some way, then go right ahead. But please just keep in mind that your IQ points are at stake here, guys. You need those, they're important. You need them to think, you need them to operate in everyday life. And if you go to see Norm of the North like I did, you will walk out of the theater slightly dumber, I guarantee it. Because I drove home from this movie in almost utter shock. I was just like, this this happened. I why why did I do this? What's that over there? Is was was that a what was that? I honestly had to sit down and process this movie for many hours before I even felt capable of discussing just how truly horrible Norm of the North is. If you haven't guessed, I'm going to give this film an F. I love what I do. I know that it's not physically strenuous like some jobs are, but holy shit, today 
was work. On a positive note, on a happy note, on a oh my gosh, I get to finally breathe note. I am still running my campaign with audible.com slash Chris. If you guys go to that website, audible.com slash Chris, you can get a free 30 day trial, which includes a free audiobook of your choice. I love this website. It has helped a lot of my viewers and I've loved hearing that you guys have enjoyed reading these books for free. They have so much stuff on there. Stephen King stuff, Star Wars stuff. They have so many things. A lot of people have actually messaged me saying that they needed a book for school and because of this free audiobook offer and free 30-day trial, they were able to obtain that. So please, check out audible.com slash Chris. These guys have been amazing sponsoring my videos for, I think, a couple years now. Thank you so much, Audible, and thank you to you guys. Definitely check out audible.com slash Chris for that free 30-day trial and free audiobook. You guys are the best. Please, don't see Norm of the North if you can avoid it. It would be very good for you to not see it. If you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.